Jim Smith was 52 years old when he died from using a paint stripper containing methylene chloride to strip the finish from a bathtub at an apartment complex. Jim was one of three partners at a company that refinished bathtubs, kitchen sinks, and kitchen counters. He wasn't a novice at this work. Jim had refinished hundreds of bathtubs using methylene chloride. His family said he was used to its sweet odor. Jim and his partners did not routinely wear their air-supplied respirators because the equipment was bulky and made the job more difficult. They occasionally felt dizzy while stripping a tub, but didn't realize that methylene chloride, a cancer-causing chemical, could be jeopardizing their health or placing them in any real danger. They did not know that methylene chloride could be absorbed through the skin and then into the blood and have the same toxic effect as when they breathed it in. They did not realize that not wearing their air-supplied respirator and the right type of glove, methylene chloride could kill them. This video was made to honor Jim's life by telling the story of his death, to raise awareness of the hazards posed by using methylene chloride in the bathtub refinishing industry, and most importantly, to prevent tragedies like this from happening again. Here is Jim's story. On a Monday morning in March 2010, Jim had breakfast with his wife and son and then went to the apartment complex. He spoke with the apartment maintenance man about which apartment bathtubs needed refinishing. After getting his equipment from his van, he went to the first apartment. The apartment bathroom was small and did not have a window. The bathtub was situated behind the bathroom door. To strip the tub finish, he poured approximately six ounces of an aircraft paint stripper into the tub and spread it with a four inch paintbrush. He did not wear his respirator that day and was wearing latex gloves. He did not turn on the bathroom ceiling fan because he was concerned that if he turned on the fan, it would draw the vapors out of the tub past his face. He had to almost close the bathroom door so he could apply the stripper and scrape the peeled finish from the tub. Methylene chloride vapors are heavier than air, and with the lack of ventilation, the vapors settled in the tub. He was leaning into the front of the tub located behind the bathroom door to scrape the peeled finish when he lost consciousness. Maintenance personnel tried to call him on his cell phone, but he did not answer. They entered the apartment where he was working and called his name. He did not answer. They went to the bathroom and found the bathroom door open just a couple of inches. Jim was slumped over, head first, into the front of the tub, unconscious and not breathing. They administered CPR while an ambulance was on its way. Jim was declared dead at the scene. The Michigan FACE program investigates workplace deaths with the goal of preventing future similar incidents. How could this death have been prevented? First and foremost, don't use any product containing methylene chloride to strip the finish from a bathtub. Use a product that does not contain methylene chloride or use a traditional method like sanding. You may not realize this, but methylene chloride is in many different products, from aircraft paint strippers to furniture strippers. But remember, products that do not contain methylene chloride can contain other chemicals which can also be hazardous to your health. Read and follow product label and safety data sheet instructions to understand and minimize the hazards. If despite knowing about these hazards, you still decide to use a product containing methylene chloride, contact a qualified occupational safety and health specialist to help you use it in the safest possible manner. Always provide plenty of fresh, uncontaminated air into the space where you are working, and use local exhaust ventilation to remove the methylene chloride vapors from the tub to the outdoors. An open window with a fan placed in it while turning on the bathroom ceiling fan is not enough ventilation to reduce the methylene chloride vapor to a level below 25 parts per million, which is the maximum exposure level allowed by law for an eight hour period. Jim was exposed to at least 11,000 parts per million using only six ounces of product. When using methylene chloride, 
Always use a respirator that supplies fresh, uncontaminated air to you. Use a positive pressure supplied air respirator with a full face piece. This is the only type of respirator that will give you the necessary protection. Many bathtub refinishers use an air purifying respirator with organic vapor cartridges. These respirators are not effective because methylene chloride vapor quickly penetrates the cartridge. You must avoid skin contact when using methylene chloride. Remember, methylene chloride can be absorbed through your skin. The most effective method for protecting your hands is wearing two types of gloves. Against your skin, wear a laminate glove. Depending on your work activities, wear an outer glove to prevent cuts and tears to the laminate glove. Methylene chloride will pass through latex, nitrile, neoprene, and butyl rubber gloves and then absorb through your skin. At a minimum, protect your arms using laminate shoulder length gloves or protective sleeves. Protect your clothing with an apron resistant to methylene chloride and don't forget to protect your shoes. Consider wearing a chemical protective coverall to provide full body protection. Remember, if you choose to use methylene chloride, make sure you have sufficient ventilation and wear all protective equipment, including the air supplied respirator during the entire refinishing process. Jim knew that his exposure to methylene chloride was why he would get dizzy sometimes but he underestimated the health hazards posed by its use. He did not realize that not having sufficient ventilation, not wearing his air supplied respirator, and not wearing the right type of glove, he could die. Jim's wife said that Jim was not a gambling man. If he knew he would be playing Russian roulette when he used methylene chloride, he would not have used it.